A few years ago, I was home alone at nighttime. I was watching TV in the living room when I heard the doorbell ring. Whenever I hear the doorbell ring, especially when I'm home alone, I am cautious to answer it. I walk up to the peephole without turning on the porch light, so they don't know if anyone is actually home or not, and look through. It's really dark, but I can see a small figure. More like black blob. I don't know its definite shape, and it had to be around three or four feet, doing like a dancing motion, dipping down and oscillating its arms outward. Think of a person moving their arms like wings, gracefully. It was dark outside, but this figure was more opaque, so I could see this going on. After a few seconds, I stopped looking through the peephole because it was too freaky to look at. I regained some courage and looked back through, and whatever it was, was gone. To this day, I still don't know what that was, and I get freaked out thinking about it. I have the Sleep Talk Recorder app on my phone. Basically, it only records when it hears sounds, so when you wake up, you have a bunch of 8 to 20 second sound clips. Usually, they're the sound of me rolling over in my sleep. But one night, I was home alone. Parents were out, brother was at a friend's house. And when I woke up, and was listening to the recordings, I heard Hmm. One. Two. In what sounded kind of like a German man's accent. There's no way I could have made that sound. I'm a teenage girl. One day while doing my laundry, one of the lights blew out in my basement. My basement is set up so that the laundry room is split from the other side of the basement. With a wall and a door. In order to get upstairs, you have to exit the laundry room and go through the other part of the basement. So the light blew out in the other part, not the laundry room. As it was the only light on that side, it was pretty fucking dark. I finished the laundry I had to do while dreading the walk through the dark basement. I exited the laundry room, get halfway through the basement, and I hear a loud cackle. Imagine a sound people make when they imitate a witch. Take that, and imagine that the witch had been smoking for 50 years, making her voice deeper and hoarser. That is what I heard. Clear as day, right behind me. I did not look or hesitate to bolt for the stairs. I waited till my father got home, then changed the bulb. I have yet to hear that cackle since, and I have not told a single person in that house about it. My dad loves to whistle, something I do a lot too. When he comes home, I often know it because he mostly enters the house whistling. Anyway, I was home alone in the house in my room. I can't remember where the rest of my family was, but I know I was waiting for my dad to arrive home from work first. I was doing something on the computer, and I heard whistling in the living room. I figured I just didn't hear the door opening. The whistling continued, and after a while I got up to go say hello. Yeah. Nobody there. Door locked. Gate locked. The whistling stopped when I was on my way from my room to the living room, though. My parents were on a trip to Europe. They are getting older and have plenty of money so they can travel wherever they want. I was taking care of the house. I was home for the summer from school anyway, so it was fine. I had been there for a few weeks and it was pretty quiet. I just went to work, came home, had some time with my boyfriend enjoying the house to ourselves. But one night I was just laying there watching TV when I heard this really weird, low whistling sound coming from the window that was just behind the couch. It struck me as sort of odd, and I just sort of shrugged it off. But then it happened again. It totally sounded like there was a person standing at the window, whistling up against it. I looked out the window, and obviously there was no one there, so I figured I should go check it out. If it were something like the wind on the siding, I should probably fix it, because that would get annoying. So I walked out into the backyard. The backyard at my parents' house is this super beautiful, sparse sort of forest that leads to a road on the other side. So I looked at the house and didn't see anything. But then I heard the sound again. It was coming from the woods in the back. I was pretty creeped out at this point, and of course I couldn't see anything in the woods. So I hurried back through the door and locked it behind me. I never really heard that sound again for a few days, until one night I was asleep in my room, and I could have sworn I was awakened by the whistling against my second floor window. I listened hard, and it was dead silent. So I decided I should go ahead and look out the window. 
I did that whole thing where I crept super slowly towards it and just sort of peeked through it. Outside my window, there was a man just standing there. I was really sleepy, so I don't know how much of this I'm just misremembering. But he was just sitting there, staring at me. I was completely frozen, and slowly, the man pursed his lips, and I could hear the whistle again. It was crystal clear and made me feel like crying. I tore myself away from the window and hid under my covers. The next night, I insisted that my boyfriend stay with me. He did, and of course nothing happened. He figured that I was just tired and delirious, and maybe he was right. It gets kind of anticlimactic here, but I didn't hear it for another week or so. And when I did, it was just one small whistle happening randomly, coming through the wall or something. It just happens every week or so, and it always freaks me out tremendously. The weirdest part is that I kind of have started doubting the accuracy of my memories, particularly my encounter with the Whistling Man. I always thought my cat had a staring problem. She always seemed fixated on my face, until one day when I realized that she was always looking just behind me. I can't see her. She whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. 